Hey guys, welcome back to Honest F1. I'm Karis, the host of Honest F1, and I'm going to share with you my most honest opinion on why I think Charles Leclerc will beat Max Verstappen to a world championship. Now these two drivers are evenly matched on so many levels, but I've managed to come up with two things that I feel will give Charles Leclerc an advantage over Max Verstappen. So the first thing I came up with is that Max during the last season, we know in the first six races until Monaco, he was making mistake after mistake and people kept asking him about it, you know, until he was like, oh, I'm gonna headbutt someone. <laughs> if they ask me again. So he refused to kind of admit that he was doing something wrong. And in hindsight, he's told us that that something wrong was pushing too hard. But it took him until the end of the season to come out and tell us, oh yeah, I was pushing too hard in the first six races. I feel like this is a product of Max Verstappen's immense self-confidence in himself. So if you have followed Charles Leclerc through interviews throughout the season last year, you would know that he beats himself up over every single mistake he makes. And immediately he gets on the ball, he figures out why it went wrong and what he can do differently to make sure it doesn't happen again. And I think Charles Leclerc has almost got his self-confidence onto that balance and it's relatively stable. And I think that will help him improve faster, it will help him learn how to mount a consistent championship challenge faster than Max Verstappen. Now, second reason, I think their circumstances make it so that it's just more likely that Shao will be in a, a championship contending car faster than Max because we know that the 2018 Ferrari was at times, or most of the time, the fastest car on the grid. Now we know in 2019, Red Bull are going to be entering a new partnership with Honda and we honestly have no idea how that's going to turn out. It's going to either be bad or it's either going to be brilliant. And even if it turns out to be amazing, I think Red Bull still needs time to build that relationship with Honda compared to Ferrari who's already had years of experience of doing that. Now, Red Bull are not a young team, but still, when you get into a new relationship with someone, you still need time. Although you might have been in previous relationships, you know, when you start seeing someone new, you kind of still need to start from square one and build that relationship up. And because of that, I think that Charles Leclerc's chances at a world championship are just higher than Max Verstappen. Now, whether Charles Leclerc wins the championship or not in the near future is an entirely different question because outside of Max Verstappen, he's still got to deal with Lewis Hamilton, who is a saint currently. <laughs> and Sebastian Vettel, his new teammate, whom we know is no softy either. Now, I know this prediction could be entirely wrong and you guys are going to slam me for it, but this is just my honest opinion. If you agree or you disagree with me or you have some other thought that you want to share, do leave it in the comments below and I'll do my best to answer or to engage with you guys in a conversation on who you think will be world champion after Lewis Hamilton. Do you think Charles Leclerc will beat Max Verstappen to a world championship? And do you think Charles Leclerc will be able to overcome Lewis Hamilton as well as Sebastian Vettel in 2019 or 2020? So thanks for watching y'all. Like, subscribe. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter, and I'll see you soon with another video. Goodbye!